Hey, problem solvers, Colfax Math here. This is the fourth video in a Foundations of Math series. What I've recognized teaching math and working as a contractor is that if your foundational skills are not solid, then the rest of math is really hard. So it's gonna be hard to believe, but math is actually not hard. The problem with math is that it is so cumulative, so based on the previous sections, that it seems impossible if you don't have solid foundational skills. If you're gonna be building a house, you have gotta have a good foundation, the rest will follow with hard work, and that's the same with this math course. In the description of this video, I'll have links to the previous chapters in this course, as well as a paper description with problems on it, print that description out, work through the problems before I do them, and then check them against me. If your previous skills are solid, then don't watch the previous videos, but go back and make sure you have whole numbers, fractions, and decimals down before you move to percentages. So this is the fourth chapter in this series. The first one is whole numbers, and then the next three are really partial numbers. There's three ways to write partial numbers. The first is fractions and then decimals, and then now percentages. So what we're gonna go over in this video is how to convert per percentages, how to convert from a percentage to a decimal or fraction, and vice versa, how to find a percent, some application problems, and then percent markup and discount. Let's say I have a decimal and I wanna convert that decimal to a percent. I move it over two places. So I start right here where the decimal place is. I go over one, one, two, and that gives me 25%. So that's how I convert from a decimal to a percent. The way I go from a percent to a decimal is exact opposite. I move to the left two places. I think of this thing right here as an arrow pointing. The decimal place would start right here and it would go over one, two, and that would give me 0.25. So to go from a decimal to a percent, go over two places to get to 25%. To go from a percent back to a decimal, Go back two places to the left to get 0.25. Let's take a look at some of these. So convert the following into a percent. I have 0.63, I go over one, two to give me 63%. Do these before I do them uh, and then check your work against mine. So maybe pause the video here, make sure you have the sheet in the description printed out, take your notes on there and then do the problems on there. So 2.3, I go over one, there's no place to go over. I have to go over another, so that's a zero. So that gives me 230%. Point oh four five, I go over one, two, to give me 4.5%. Right here, point zero zero seven eight. that's a pretty small number. I go over one, two, to give me 0.78%. Now, converting fractions into percent, I'm gonna convert them into a decimal first. I might recognize one half is 0 0.50 as a decimal. Then I'm gonna go over one, two, right? That's gonna be a zero, new decimal place there to give me 50%. One quarter, I might recognize that as 0.25, converting it to a percent over two places to give me 25%. The other way to do one quarter is I actually don't know the decimal equivalent. I think of the fraction like this. It falls over to the right. So I'm gonna go four into one. Well, four doesn't go into one, so I put a decimal there. Four go into 10 two times. That decimal stays up. Four times two is eight. 10 minus eight is two. Bring down the next zero. Four goes into 25 times. Give me 0.25 and then 25%. One and three quarters, I might recognize that as three of these quarters. And you can see why knowing fractions is so important. So I have three of those quarters, three of 0.25 is 1.75. Move over one, two to give me 175%. Two thirds, you might recognize that as 66.7 or 0.6666666 or 0.667. Moving it over one, two, will give me 66.7%. If you didn't know that decimal offhand, you would divide it the same way. So I have two thirds, the fraction falls over this way. Three goes into two, it doesn't go into two, so that's a zero decimal place here. Three goes into 26 times, to give you 18. 
20 minus 18 is 2, bring down the 0. 3 goes into 20 six times. 18, 2, bring down the 0, and I can see it's going to keep going like that. And that's where that 0.666 comes from. I round it up to 0.667, and then I go over two places to make it a percent. Convert the following into decimals, so I'm starting as a percent. So now this arrow is pointing over, arrow pointing that way, so I'll go over 1, 2 to get 0.24. Here's my decimal place right here, it's 139.0. From there I go over 1, 2 to get 1.39. Over here, I'll start right here, I go over 1, 2 to get 0.68. And right here, one half. Again, I got to convert that to a decimal first, 0 0.50. Now that I have it as a decimal, I need to convert it into, um, well, I guess I'm just converting it into decimal, so I'll leave it right there, or 50%. All right, here are some more percentage problems. Find 80% of 40. I find the best way to do these is convert this to a decimal first. So I'm going to go over 1, 2 to get 0 0.8. Of means multiply. So 0.8 times 40 looks like that. And you can see why we did decimals before we did percentages. That's the previous uh, unit before this. So I'm going to do 40 times 0 0.8. 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 4 is 32. I have my decimal place over one place. So my answer is 32. 80% of 40 is 32. Same thing I'll do here. I'm going to shoot that over 1, 2, 0.25 times 60. I'll do that out this way. 60 times 0.25. 5 times 0. 5 times 6 is 30. Placeholder, 2 times 0. 2 times 6 is 12. Add those together, get 0, 0, 5, 1. I'm over 1, 2, or 15. And that kind of makes sense, right? 25% is a quarter. A quarter of 60, if I cut that in half, is 30. Cut that in half, is 15. So a quarter of 60, 25% of 60 is 15. Okay, if you're still with me here, uh, I have to commend you. This is a lot of work to go back and fill in all the holes that you might have had in math. Maybe you never got it in the first place and everybody else moved on. Maybe you moved around. Who knows what the issue is? But uh, if you're still with me and you're working your way through and solidifying these foundational skills, it's going to really pay off a lot in the future. Going forward from here will be a lot easier when you have these solid foundational skills. So thank you for staying with me. I, I commend you for, for doing that. Okay, number 15, what percent of 60 is 15? Well, there's a couple pieces here. We gotta kind of convert this sentence into a math equation. So this is actually kind of the start of algebra. And a couple things, is is equals, of is multiply. So what this is saying here is what, that's really like, I don't know what it is, what percent of multiply 60 is 15? So what I'm saying is, what percentage times 60 is going to give me a 15? So I could get that by itself by dividing both sides by 60, like that. These things will cancel and I have my percentage by itself. And then I could see 15 goes into 15 one time, and it goes into 64 times, giving me a quarter. I could see that's my answer, one quarter. I, if I know that's a decimal conversion to 0.25, then I know it's 25%. Or if I don't, I just treat that fraction like this. It falls over 4, go into 1. Well, it doesn't, so that would be 0. 4 go into 10, 1.0. It would go in twice. That would give me 8. 10 minus 8 is 2, bring down to 0. 4 go into 20. Five times, it gives me the same, 0.25. If you have to do that long division, great. Just keep doing it until you have enough fluency in numbers to know that a quarter and 0.25 are the same. Let's see if that even makes sense. My answer is 0.25. I move it over as a decimal, 25%. So what I'm saying is 15 is 25% of 60. And that kind of makes sense because if I cut 60 in half, 30, cut that in half again, it'll be a quarter or uh, 15, so half of 30 is 15, 25% or 0.25. Okay, what percent of 50 is five? Same thing, make sure you pause the video and do this one first. So what I'm saying is, I don't know what it is, times 50 is five. I divide both sides by 50. These two things are gonna cancel, so I have that 
what percent, that's that, of is the multiplication, times 50 is 5. 5 over 50, 5 goes into here once, into here 10 times, 1 tenth, or 0.1, or 10 percent. And that kind of makes sense as well. What percent of 50 is 5? Five? 5 is 10% of 50, so you go both directions. Okay, let's do a couple application problems. Do these before I do them, pause the video, and then see if you got them right. Bob went to the market, buy some fruit, kind of turning these sentences into problems. None of that really matters. He bought bananas for 30%, that's important. 30% off of $3, how much did he spend? Well, if I take that $3, and I multiply it by the decimal equivalent of that percent. Remember, 1, 2, 0. 0.3. So I multiply it by 0. 0.3. That's going to give me 0, 0, 0.09. My decimal place is over 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 0. 0.90 or 90 cents. That is the amount I got off. So 30% off of $3 is 90 cents. $3 minus that 90 cents is $2.10. Let me double check that I'm answering the question asked. How much did he spend? He spent $2.10 with his 90 cents off. Here's a construction application problem. A job costs $2,000. The materials cost $400. What percent of the total cost was the material? So that's saying a fraction. 400 to the total of 2,000 is what percent? Oh no, it says what percent was materials, what percent was labor? So we got two questions. So let's find the materials to the total. That's going to be the percent of materials. 400 goes into, two, 400 goes into 400 one times, into here five times. That's one fifth. I might recognize that as a 0.2 decimal. If not, I'll do five into one, right? That fraction falls over. Doesn't go into one, so I put a decimal in there. Five into 10, two, to give me 10. And that's my 20%. So if materials are 0.2 or 20% of the total cost, then labor has to be 100% minus that 20% or 80% for that labor. So that's materials, and that would be labor. All right, last two problems, percent markup and percent uh, discount. These get a little tricky. I'll do a couple simple ones here, and you should be able to understand the ideas from here, and that's kind of the intent uh, of this video. Make sure you do a lot of practice problems. Getting the idea is the first step. Doing the practice is what really solidifies it. So I want a 40% markup. So I'm selling something and it sells for $80. No, it's not. The item is $80. What is the markup and what is the selling price? So I start at 80. I take that 40%. I convert it into a decimal, 0.4. It's a 40% markup. So I take that 80 times that 0.4 to get 0. 4 times 8 is 32. This is over one place, so it's 32. So the markup is 32. So it says, what is the markup? $32. What is the total selling price? It is the original price of $80 plus the markup of $32 to give me a total price of $112. OK, number 20, last one. Uh, please comment below if you have any questions. Ask your questions in the comments, and I'll try and answer them as quick as I can. If an item costs $250 and you get a 20% discount, so I'm going to start with that original amount of $250, convert that percent into a decimal 0.2, multiply by 0.2. This is going to be the amount of the discount. So it starts at $250 minus this discount, and that'll be my selling price. 2 times 0, 2 times 5 is 10, carry the 1. 4 plus 1, 5. I'm over one place here, so I go over one place. So $50 is my discount. My original price is 250 My discount is 50 The selling price is $200. Uh, all right, well, hopefully that gives you an overview of percentages. Uh, if you had some questions about the decimals or the fractions, and if I went too quickly, go back and watch the previous videos. Again, I have a link to the whole course. Uh, playlist in the description and also this handout that I worked my way through. So thank you for watching uh, and good job. Good job going back and solidifying some of your foundational math skills.